Okay, it's Friday. I'm in the yard. <laughs> Actually, old. Um, but anyway, we've got lots of parcels here. We've got two winches. Two winches for a Land Rover. Maybe a discreet winch bumper here. Maybe a snorkel there. Maybe I can't remember what that is. Isolator, tow bar. Can't remember. But let's open up these parcels. Right, first things first. I think that'll be the snorkel. Look what we've got in here. Quite lightweight, this one. Uh, no, that one's the snorkel. I'm going to keep the snorkel in there for now. That's fine. That is going to be hopefully tomorrow's task for Connor to do. Connor, if you're watching, hopefully it's installed now. If not, it is what it is. This one's quite heavy. Maybe this is the winch mount. Yeah, probably is. Yeah, monsters off road. Business card, Maltings Off Road 4 before store. What do you think about that? Keep them brackets together. But there is no fair lead, but that'll be with my winch. That's fine. Right, one box done. Another one for the burner. Right. Next one, I know what that is, that's a winch isolator, but we've got the winch mount, which will go with the synthetic winch. I'm going synthetic for the front, because that's what I use primarily. And as you know, I go with steel on the back. Just in case you ever get in the real trouble, steel, um, and you can wrap it around a tree if you've not got soft straps, it can go underneath a vehicle. So that's what I personally do. Synthetic front, steel on the back. This should be our emergency on-off. Our isolator. Not cheap though. These are not cheap, but they are needed. That is 400, I think this rates are like 400 amps. But the reason why I went for it like this is it'll be a lot easier to put it in the bumper to mount, be in circle as well. That's it, yeah, push and pull. So that's ideal, that'll go with the winch. That's another one done. Right, I'm looking this one. Very lightweight, I thought that was a snorkel, but no. tray which I thought I could use for maybe some incident slow signs, directional arrow signs, maybe a tow rope but will this fit with the dog cage that I don't have a dog? Not sure but that's cool.
Let's see if we've got any nuts and bolts for this. Yep. I'm trying to find me even eight stuff. Well, apparently that's it. Four screws. I have got a tow bar at the minute, but it is a detachable, which I don't like. And they were prone for coming out once upon a time. So we're gonna go for a fixed tow bar instead. What is this one? Aha! I forgot about this. How are we gonna power your winch? Well, I'm going to use some Andersons, look at that, and these are fused as well, which is very important to fuse these. On previous vehicles in my past, I never had them fused, so that was a recipe for disaster really. Why have you got so many? Well, I've got them for some other vehicle that you'll see soon. Um, yeah, I think that is it. Yep, that's cool. Right. I think we're basically there. Um, also with these Andersons, I've got them in three different lengths, so I'm going to have to work out which one is which. Just bring this a little bit closer so you can see. You've obviously got your Anderson socket on there, which I've also actually bought. Just some more, just as backup to know which one goes in where and whatever, just so it can work in sync. If I bring off this end first, these will basically screw on to your battery terminal, your negative and your positive, and you've got your massive fuse in here, which will probably be a two, three, four hundred odd amp fuse. I don't know, don't correct me, um, don't whatever, I'm not sure, but it's basically rated for this. So if you ever get your cables too hot, it will just blow the fuse and protect your battery and the rest of your vehicle. But yeah, absolutely sweet. That is the best way to power. Um, one of your, say for example, powering your trailer off your winch um, on the back, so you've run this from the front all the way to the back, plug your trailer in, bang, you've got proper power, yeah? I'm going to put those on there for now. As mentioned, we've got a few various different lengths just to go between the different vehicles that you can see soon. But yeah, very, very happy, and I also actually got an extension which I think will be, oh, just break that one, sound. I got this as a one meter extension, reasons being, winch cables only go so far, depending on what your tone vehicle is, you just sometimes might need that extra little bit of length, so I thought why not just get a one meter one as an extension, just to um, bridge that small gap that you may have, rather than being the cables way too tight against each other. So, yeah, and the last one will be the tow bar, which, I don't know where the key will be to take the detachable tow bar off, so it's probably going to have to be drilled off. But either way, having a fixed tow bar is a lot safer and it's got a lot more structural strength points as opposed to just a standard detachable upright um, tow bar, I guess, or tow ball. All right, let's get into it. ones being fixed will obviously join onto the chassis gives you a lot more strength this is a witter tow bar very reputable brand been around for a long time and then i can just open this to show you so on the discoveries they basically slot and hook up um, like so but i've got to get the old one off so i'm gonna to have to uh, drill the lock off it and then also with that 
so if I can see this all the best at the minute. You get your new tow bar, and you've also got your electrics, little bracket. So everything is there. I'm very excited to use that one, because that's what I'm going to be using quite a lot for straight poling, using an inter-trade tow pole, tow ropes, um, and obviously connecting a trailer. So very important bit of kit that is, and especially by having the extra strength more points and mounts as well. Yeah. Right, that's Christmas over. So now comes the fun part of installing these and where to start first. But I've still got a bit of a pong of dog odour, so I'm going to lift up the rear seats and just give it another hoover and a clean. And then first one first, with probably terms of ease, I'm just going to put the rear, the rear top storage base in. And then after that, probably the tow bar. And then probably after that onto the winch bumper. There's only so many hours in a day. They probably this, this will not get done today. I'll probably only get two screws and then I'll have to go. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Look forward to it. Today is Friday, the day after yesterday when we bought it. This is going to be a very quick, subtle transformation because I've got Premier Graphics arranged for tomorrow and um, to basically get the vinyl done. And um, yeah, this is going to be amazing. Hopefully he's going to make a little video like he did last time on the Jeep XJ when he did the sign writing. Also Saturday, if all goes to plan, like I've already said with Connor and the snorkel, that'll be great. Not that I want to be wading loads, but on my old disco, on the disco free, I went over water that was over the bonnet, even in the extended height mode, it was fine, it was great. Not that I'm going to want to chuck this in, but sometimes if you're in a certain location and you've got to go through, it's much better to have the snorkel on for that little bit of peace of mind and reassurance. And if you have to back up, if you're going too deep, just back it up. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot to be done. I'm also going to get a rear winch bumper made, hopefully. Hopefully going to get a custom made rear winch bumper for the back of the disco. Again, some scenarios being this will be my main vehicle, my off-road vehicle, my incident support vehicle, the everything vehicle, picking the kids up from nursery vehicle. If I ever go on an off-road job and my front winch fails or I get stuck, having a winch on the back will pull yourself backwards as long as you've got something to winch onto or using a ground anchor. So a lot of people just get winches for the front yet sound, but on that one occasion, you might need that winch bumper on the rear. So it is well worth investing getting a winch bumper on the rear if you can. And I've also got the LED and wiring and lighting. Yes, I can do it myself, but this is a bloody expensive vehicle and I want it done perfectly perfect. So I've already gave the task to Chris at Commercial Vehicle Products in Tamworth. He has got the great pleasure of working on the new Discovery 4 Landmark Edition. It is going to be transformed. I've said, Chris, no matter what you've done for him over there, for that company before, this needs to stand out from the rest of the crowd. So I'm hoping he's going to pull it out of the bag for me and make this something special with obviously all the control, module, control modules, the wiring, the beacons, the flash patterns, the setup, everything. I want it to be the absolute business. So that's going to be later on in March. Uh, probably nearer to the end of March you'll see the updates with the beacons and, what, and lighting and wiring. But stay tuned and thanks again for all your support on the channels, all your contributions and your comments, especially on the Leyland Daff. On the Leyland Daff. What a video and what a truck. Um, but this is the next one on the list. I've still got to do the Ford F450 walk around and I've still got to do a video on the world's first. So stay tuned everyone, uh, massive thanks, Jeep XJ competition, thank you all very much for entering, and for the people still buying the merchandise, the GDB Rescue and Recovery merchandise, if you've not got any, get on the website www.gdbrescueandrecovery.co.uk forward slash shop. It's all systems go, if you weren't being on this channel giving me support, I wouldn't be here right now, so this is for you, thank you very much. Right, a couple of things on my agenda. Dog cage, it's a little bit woof. I don't need it. I think it's going to personally probably get in my way. So I'm going to remove the dog cage now. Also, on my last Land Rover, I took the rear seven seats out. Keep these ones in the middle, um, but the rear seven seats will never get used. Personally, for me, I think it's a bit more viable space that I can put a few more bits of equipment and tackle there. Um, obviously, yeah, it will reduce a little bit of weight because I will be putting a lot of weight into the vehicle. So I'm going to remove these rear seats as well. Uh, I probably won't video all of it, I'll do a quick few clips now um, and then yeah, then we'll continue doing what we're doing and that will also help get rid of some of the dog odour as well because I think it's staying in the back of the seats. 
So yeah, dog cage coming out, rear seats coming out, job done, let's go. Well this cannot be rocket science to get out, it's literally just a couple of screws. So I'm just gonna crack on and get this out and yeah, on to the next part. One dog cage out. Okay, so we are about to remove the seventh, sixth, and seventh seat out of the back of the landy. All you have to do is pop the little cover up on there, and then it's some torque setting, which I think is torque number 50. And then, uh, yeah. And this will help get rid of a lot of that dog smell, 100%. Because it is what, And these seats are never going to get sat on. Full stop. If they're ever going to get sat on, it's probably sitting in here. Now we can give it a better hoover out. That is finally the rear seats removed and super hoovered and super clean. There was lots of nuts and crannies here. Obviously you don't normally get to valet in without taking things out. So I'm really glad I've done that. Um, next stage is gonna get the upper um, which goes up here, the upper headspace, upper storage, luggage space, whatever you want to call it. So let's get that installed now. Here's, this is the upper storage space, not loads, but you know, that little couple of inches will obviously help keep some of the main area away and keep it free. These should be a fairly easy install by undoing the rear um, hold on for my life things. I don't know what they are. About to crash, just hold on to that and hope for the best. But we're going to undo them, and they literally should just push in and screw back in, and that should be enough support for the small weight. They sent me four screws, don't know what they're for just yet, but I'm sure we will find out. Okay. <laughs> Smells nice. So, these little Phillips screw on both sides. Same again. We're going to undo them and it should literally just screw back in but i don't know how i'm going to hold that on my own but hey we'll have to see what happens okay let's go get it i'm taking my shoes off because i don't want to get it too dirty i'm freaking out okay don't mind a bit of mud on the end lost the screw. I've got one. I've got two. Ah, right, hold on. They sent me some bigger screws, but I don't think... 
I'm going to go with the short ones just for now. Trying to smash any windows. Oh, uh -huh. Right. Oh great, I'm going to do this, oh man, I um, actually don't know, I think we'll have to call back up, <laughs> ha, got him, no I haven't, oh man, I think this calls for backup, I think we need reinforcements, oh no, no, we can do this, hold on a minute, Work smarter, not harder. You do not need to do that. Now, hold on a minute, Jimmy. There's actually no manual for this. Well, not that you should need a manual. All right, watch and learn, kids. Recovery drivers are very knowledgeable people because they think outside the box. They use whatever is around them to get themselves out of a scenario. But this literally just unscrews. So I can put my one bracket on easily. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Duh! This was not cheap. It was about 250 quid. Which is a lot of money, but hey, it's impeccable and imperitable that we have it. For extra storage space. So now it's undone. Look at that. I ain't got to be messing about okay I've got my screws so now that can go up that was the back yep yeah, that's right oh look at that Just look at that straight in straight in what she said Still enough on the head. Don't drop it, man. <sighs> Might be easy just doing this with a manual screwdriver. Got him. Okay, I think the longest screws we needed, guys. Ninja, the bloody thing. Ow. Right. Maybe they were there for a reason. My God, it's fiddly. Not going super tight. That's okay. It's only a weight supporting bearing thing. Ah. Okay. Looks good enough for me. Oh no. from behind ah. come on baby that's it come on Ooh. 
Put the cut down, bro. Oh, yeah. Let's see how it looks. Um, yeah, a little bit further back, but obviously when my tail's up, it's just grab, reach, grab, reach, reach and grab, reach and grab. That's it, I'm happy at that. Now we've got a job to do, so we need to go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so today is Saturday. We are gonna take the stickers off both doors only of the word recovery and stick our logo on for YouTube. Uh, I've got an old lad coming called Jake. He used to work for me. He's gonna come today and valet the hell out of this daft because I can't do everything on my own. Literally, I cannot. So he's gonna get this spick and span all over. I've then got my boy Shane from Premier Graphics who's gonna come out and get this stickered up and yes we only just bought it two days ago but that's what we're going to get stickered up today if all goes to plan connor is hopes of coming out going to get the snorkel on i'm then going to try and get the anderson sockets on so i can use the trailer and the winch and i'm going to get whatever else i can get done before any jobs come in so let's see what we can do and let's get cracking Oh my days! That that GDB Rescue and Recovery. That 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 guy. YouTube. The one who says thank you for the fourteen k plus subscribers. Oh my god! Look at that. You've been busy, mate. Look at that! That is sick, bro! Damn! How many years have you been doing this for, mate? Just today, mate. First day, yeah? You're doing yeah. alright, mate? <laughs> Woo! Look at that! You probably can't see much, but let me just get my phone light out. That is clean, clean, clean. Beautiful work, Jake, beautiful work. Don't know if the engine still runs on, don't know, not sure. Ha <laughs> ha, coming 6 feet, yo. Okay, hello YouTubers, today is Sunday. I'm in the yard, in the workshop. Shane's been out from Premier Graphics. We are about 95% finished on the graphics. And we've still got to put a little bit more yellow on the wing. And it needs a little bit of yellow around the fogs. But it's looking smart. It's looking cool. I like it. Um, I've also had a change of plan in relation to having the rear winch bumper done by Damien the Fabricator. So I was going to go for a custom made winch bumper on the rear. But the more I think about it, yes I've got sensors that can be sorted. But having the winch bumper on here the winch is going to be quite low and then the tow bar i just feel there's going to be a few too many obstructions so i'm still going to go ahead and fix the witter tow bar by taking this one off the new fixed tow bar on but you can actually get a tow ball adapter winch mounting plate which i'll attach the photo below and then basically i can keep the winch in the boot if i ever have to use it which is going to be extremely rare that i get a serious off-road job and i get stuck but then I can just clip it on and bang, get myself out, rather than having a permanent fixed structure. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do instead. I've still obviously got Chris lined up to do all my roof beacons, spotlights, floodlights, um, but that's obviously going to be middle of March, so 
Yeah, not the but just one. How many? I haven't got a roof beacon right now to put on it, and I don't want to make a certain job of it and it not look right. This is going to be an ultimate truck, an ultimate vehicle. And I just want it to be done perfect, like with all the wiring, the, the neatness of it, where all the fuses go, the control mod, I want it all to be perfect. So that's why I'm paying him to just do it, you know, one of them things. But what I'm going to crack on with today, I think my first task, I'm going to put the Anderson lead on. And then if I've got time, I'm then going to try and do the custom winch bumper on the front. So let's see what Sunday has got to bring at GDV. Okay, let's go. Access is extreme minimum you won't be able to see where it's going but that's where it's going not looking forward to this but the job ain't gonna get done by itself is it this is a six meter anderson lead with built-in fuse Comes ready made, you can basically choose what length that you want and what connectors and what size fuse, blah blah blah. And now I've got to try and get it mounted in here somehow. I ain't looking forward to this. Ah, never get anything done. I'm going to use my little fishing rod now to try and get it down to where I need it to go. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, ain't get nothing, but I can see it. There, that's where I need it. I'll have to pause the clip because I ain't recording this. Okay, small progress. I've got the Anderson down, but I don't want it to go on the exhaust side because it'll get hot. So I've got to try and find a way just to feed it down and round and the phone's ringing again. Mm. As you can see, that is the Anderson. I want to try and feed it through as best as I can. can't record all of this it just ain't gonna happen guys okay so we've got the Anderson on um, I've left it loose a little bit because I've got to change this tow bar so I might be able to like mount it or I'll just feed it back through and have it onto the tow bar instead but for now I've got myself a little protector just to stop any debris getting into the Anderson and at least it is fused as well just stick that on there and that's it so I'm just gonna tuck you away in here for now he says mm. there we go. That's, better. that's just tucked away for now that'll be absolutely fine um next step is probably the tow bar or the winch bumper i don't know but i've got a job to go on so it is what it is to be continued
It's okay. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. There is still way more to come, so please make sure you stay subscribed. Make sure your bell notification symbols are on to make sure you receive the next notification when the next video gets uploaded to the channel. And i got to say this, it's killing me, absolutely killing me, but the Jeep XJ competition, it was £25 a ticket with only maximum 500 tickets. The first week sold like no tomorrow, over 100 tickets. Then it literally just went dead. Like I think at the minute there's like 130 tickets that have sold and we are on the, what's the date? We're on the 20th of February and there's 28 days in February and the 1st of March is draw day. That's like eight and a bit days or nine days. That's how long's left. Um, I'm all up for letting it go. That is not a problem. The Jeep is going. Um, I'm sticking to my end. That I'm letting it go regardless now of the sellout of tickets. Where originally it was only if all the tickets sold. So this is my last push for the Jeep XJ. Just to try and get a bit more money back so I can put it into the Land Rover. It is now officially, at this time now on this video, it is buy one ticket, get one free. Now, before some of you start going blah, 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 I've not paid for my ticket yet, can I have another one? Whatever. If you've not paid for your ticket originally already, which I've obviously got the messages, you will have to pay for that ticket first and then buy another ticket to get one free. It's only fair. Again, I restricted this competition to 10 tickets per person, but you've obviously spent a lot of time and invested. I will allow two more tickets only, just two more tickets only. So that would mean that you've basically got a maximum of 12 tickets purchased and two for free. Um, that's as fair as I can get. Um, it's massively undersold. I'm still paying out the thousand pounds for number two prize, and I'm still paying out 500 pounds for the number three prize. So I can't really get much fairer than that. It's massively undersold and I am letting it go. I don't have to let it go. Um, but I'm doing it, you know, I've come this far and I can't be the person that will say, sorry, I didn't sell anything, I've got a refund, you're asking for your bank details or whatever. That ain't me. So it's going, but here's your opportunity. So if you're a little bit skeptical about entering now, look at the ticket sales on the Facebook page, um, GDB Rescue and Recovery. Look at the pinned post on the top of the page and you'll see how many tickets have kind of not sold. So if you want a little punt, the odds are ridiculous. Or in other words, the odds are ridiculous. Send me a message on the Facebook page and let me know what your ticket number is that you want and then let me know what ticket that you want for free and yeah, just get entering and that's it. There is not long left. I am away at the end of the month, but I am going to be taking the raffle box with me. I'll be taking the raffle tickets because some people will still be entering whilst I'm away. So I'll still be keeping you all up to date and informed and I'll be doing the live draw um somewhere in the Cotswolds that's, that's 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 where I'm going at the end of the month basically just for a day or two so yeah that's it thanks for watching stay stay tuned on the channel we've got the world's first coming out soon some of you may know about it some of you will know about it a little bit disco 4 work in progress Ford F450 just keeps drinking um that's it gonna get this video uploaded now and edited the video is now live and I'm now going to be replying to your messages for getting your buy one ticket, get one free. Stay tuned. 1st of March 2023 at 1800 hours. Who's winning the Jeep? Who is winning the £1,000 in the bank? And who is winning the £500? £25 a ticket? Come on. And if all goes to plan today once I've got this video edited, I'm going to do the walk around video of the Ford F450. So make sure your bell notifications are turned on. I know a lot of you want to have a little tour around this little baby. Um, I also have a lot of messages with people offering money for it. Look, it's not really for sale officially, but everything has a price. Um, but no, she's not for sale. She's not advertised. I'm using it. She is a nice tool. It is my little baby. It is my toy. Um, 
But yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. Get your bell notification symbol turned on. Next video is coming out very soon for you. Okay, let's go. And that is Mr. GDB over and out.